Welcome to Training Qualifications UK. Today, we're going to run through our exam system, which learners use to take their online assessments. The system has been designed with simplicity at its core. And in this video, we'll show exactly how easy it is for the learners to log in, demonstrate compliance with exam conditions and complete their assessment. When the learner logs into the system for the first time, they'll be prompted to update their password to ensure it's as secure as possible. After they've done so, they click update and then home, to which it'll open up the system's main page. At this stage, learners are presented with their exams. A drop down menu in the top left hand corner of the screen allows them to toggle between their English or their maths, depending which exam they've been booked on. This toggle opens up the assessments available to that learner. The system requires the need to download software called the SARA Secure Browser. This software locks the learner's device so the only browser being used to complete the assessment is accessible. This helps eliminate the possibility of the learner gaining an unfair advantage and reduces the possibility of voids. Instructions are provided in the booking email the learner will receive. However, when they click Start Test, they are also prompted to download the secure browser if they haven't already done so. They should follow the on-screen instructions to download the software and if they have any problems doing so, get in touch with Training Qualifications UK to help solve the issue. Practice tests are available to help learners familiarise themselves with the exam's functionality and can be selected by clicking the Start Test button under the Practice Test box. Here, we'll demonstrate a maths practice test. After selecting the practice test, learners click Accept to confirm their selection and then click Start box containing instructions will appear in the bottom right of the screen and learners should select the close button to begin the assessment. A maths assessment, a protractor, ruler and calculator are available to help learners as they complete their assessment. The ruler and protractor can be resized to suit the learner's preference and set to whichever angle they need to complete the question. The calculator is only available for the calculator section of the maths exam. Please note that the online calculator must be used as personal calculators are not permitted. When completing their practice tests, learners put their answers in the appropriate box and click the next button. They can click previous to revisit and change an answer or skip directly to a question by selecting the relevant number in the question navigation section at the bottom of the screen. Once the learners completed all questions and are happy with their answers, they can select submit in the bottom right of the screen and click the yes in the resulting prompt. This brings the practice assessment to a close and the learner is ready to move on to the real assessment. Before the learner selects a live assessment, they'll need to complete the system check test. This is similar to the practice test, but in the background, the system is checking that the device the learner is using is compatible with our exam system. Once the learners have completed all questions and are happy with their answers, they can select submit in the bottom right of the screen and click yes in the resulting prompt. This brings the system check test to a close and the learner is ready to move on to the real assessment. When the learner is ready to take their live assessment, they can select it from the main screen in the same way that selected the practice test. Here, we'll use English assessment as an example. The live assessment works in the same way as a practice assessment, with the learner answering questions using relevant answer boxes and moving from question to question using the question navigation section at the bottom of the screen. When they click Start Test, the learner would be prompted to download the browser if they haven't already done so. They should follow the on-screen instructions to download the software and if they have any problems in doing this, they should get in contact with Training Qualifications UK to help solve this issue. Learners will see a user agreement. Once read, they'll agree by selecting the box which will create a tick. Learners will be presented with a system check test that confirms that their device meets the necessary requirements of the exam system. Once passed, learners will be asked to show relevant photo ID, for example a passport or driving license, which they should hold up to the camera with the ID well lit and clearly visible. Their webcam will be activated to capture their headshot. Learners must position themselves within the green circle for the headshot to be valid and they have two attempts to capture the photo. Once both of the photo ID and the photo have been successfully captured, the learner should click verify. The final stage of the process is a room sweep which helps us confirm that the assessment is being taken in correct exam conditions. The learner simply moves their webcam around the room in full 360 degree circle, making sure the room and their desk area is clearly seen. Once a room sweep has been completed, the learner should select next. 
and then take test. This will show them instructions for that particular test and ask them to accept. Once selected, they must click start, which will load the assessment. In the top right hand corner, a prompt may ask the learner to enable their audio. They simply need to click this once to enable the audio and the assessment will load. If there is a prompt to share the screen, the learner will select entire screen and select the screen that is showing the exam. Throughout the assessment, the learner will be able to see themselves in the top right hand corner. If the learner experiences any technical difficulties with the exam system, we're here to help. Our office hours are 8.30 in the morning to 5pm in the evening and we can be reached via email at support at tkuk.org or through our telephone number 033 33 58 33 44.